Hey guys, how are we doing? Welcome to another buzzing walkabout here on Buzzing Pattaya. And uh, today I'm right far down in Jom Tien, up the very end of Utilate 8. Uh, there is a method in my madness, so I just want to have a casual walk around, but I want to end at a place that uh, I know you guys that come over here for the uh, entertainment will definitely want to be putting on your radar. Um, so if you have a look on the map now, you'll see exactly where we are. And uh, to get here in a bulk taxi, you're talking no more than 100 baht from the city center. So again, you know, it's not a lot of money, uh, very easily accessible. And the nice thing about John Tien Beach is it's a lot quieter, it's a lot more subdued than it is in the Patea area, certainly along Beach Road. Uh, the, you can go swimming here, so it's a nice environment to swim. And it's just a generally better beach. And what I'll do is I'll spin the camera and show you the beach in a second. And then what we'll do is we'll head up. Uh, there's a few places I've stumbled across that I want to show you. Uh, one in particular, and uh, then as I say, we are going to end at uh, a place that I know for sure you need on your radar. Right, let's go spin the camera out. Let's take a look at what's going on here in what we call Na Jom Tien. Now, I did make mention to the fact that the, uh, the beach here is a little bit nicer. And uh, of course, in true fashion, there's tractors and that over there, but I think that's for the jet ski, actually. Um, but you can see, you know, it's a nice area. All the way up there. There you go, look at that in the far, far distance. Really is nice. I have to say one thing that I admire is, you know, you look at this poor guy here. He's gone to all the time and effort of setting all this up and it takes a long time to set up and he's got absolutely no customers. I feel quite emotional when I see things like because I think, you know, it's awful, isn't it? You know, these guys, they try their level best to make a living and uh, unfortunately, particularly right now with the rain, my Lord, we've had some rain. God damn, if you're out here at the moment, you'll know what I'm talking about. And I'm praying it ain't gonna rain today. And uh, if you haven't been out here or you're not out here, have a look, just uh, YouTube the videos. The rain here is, is just uh, horrific, horrific right now, it really is. And uh, there you go, look at these, some of the high rise buildings, look at those. The very top there, that, I'm guessing that could be a penthouse. Man, that's some view. And uh, yeah, the rain. And of course, I'll tell you what's been a little bit of a surprise, if I, if I say, is the, uh, the way that the rain's been handled by the new drainage that they've been putting in. It's absolutely useless. <laughs> it really is. People were wading around here, but they knee deep in water. And uh, you know, they spent millions of baht digging all these roads up, laying all the new uh, tunnels to try and deal with the the amount of rain that we get and uh, absolutely hopeless. So I don't know whether that's a design fault or whether it was just, we've had just literally so, so much rain. I'm not really quite sure as to why it has failed, but yeah, it's definitely failed. All right, I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's uh, nip over the other side and see what's going on here. And uh, all right, that side's pretty good. This side's okay, good. All right. Let's go and have a little wander around some of the shops and stuff. So you see the sign up there, Yar. Yar is Thai for pharmacy. Maybe a word you want to write down. So if you are in need of any medication, you can ask someone I need to go to see Yar. And incidentally, talking about uh, funny, night, funny names. There you go, see their name is, it says Me D Seafood. Now in Thai, me, D, me means uh, have, D means good. So have good seafood. And that concludes today's Thai lesson. Talking of food, here we go, look, they dry this beef out. And that's lovely, that is. It really is nice, one of my favorites. And uh, there's some dam, some dam is, uh, you see they put the crab in, and they make this. Lovely food. And uh, of course you've got chicken and pork there. All good. And, uh, Another one of these stalls. Um, I don't know what's going on with that stuff. I really don't. Absolutely clueless. I'm not the sharpest pencil in the case at the best of times, but uh, I don't know what it's all about. And incidentally, here you go. See all these different uh, these snack foods? 10 baht. And what they do is they put them in. There's a pan behind. I'll show you in a second. And uh, somebody cup. And uh, they, they, they fry them in oil for you. So in there, they'll fire up the old burner. So what do you come, what do you come, what do you come? And uh, yeah, they fire up the old burner, deep fry it, jobs are good. 
Okay, what we got here? Oh, we got uh, fruit here. Fruit is polymai. Polymai is fruit, so uh, pineapple there. Sapa de cap, de cap. So that's uh, saparot, which is uh, uh, pineapple. And uh, watermelon with den more. And uh, yeah, really nice. And that's the nice thing about when you're out here. You're literally only a stone's throw away for, from a snack. And uh, this one here, uh, that's Gwid Diao. So uh, they make soups in there. So do you have, hello, hello, hello. So they make uh, Gwid Diao. One of my favorites is Gwid Diao Mu Dom Yam. Oh, that's good. If you like your spicy uh, spicy soups, try it. Gwid Diao Mu Dom Yam. Really, really nice. Really nice. And uh, here we are at the Bay Beach Resort in John Tien. Which I have to say, I don't do hotel reviews, but that does look quite nice. I'm not into uh, hotel reviews, not my cup of tea. You can't exactly walk around a place and say, oh, this is crap. So I'd rather not do, <laughs> to be honest. I try and stay away from them. But uh, not to say that any of them are crap, but you know, I just feel you've got to be a little bit biased, haven't you, really? Oh, yeah, this is lovely. Look at this. Anyway, enough of that. Uh, but look at her. Yeah, look at this. Reminds me of the old Trotters van. <laughs> Fantastic. And uh, look at this bad boy. And we're right outside what's called Street Bar. Look at that. What on earth is that called? No idea. What's that called, guys? That's got to be a kit car, isn't it? It was never manufactured. It has to be a kit car. And uh, incidentally, if you're on your motorbike, do yourself a favour and stop at these lights because right opposite there is where they're going to find you. All right, so we're going to turn left now and um, going to head up. Like I say, I want to show you a few places up here. And one of those places is across there called the Gold Monkey Cafe. The Gold Monkey Cafe. I've had a fair few beers in there over the years. Nice pool table, live music. So uh, definitely one to put on your list. Don't know what I'm doing in there. Must be refurbishing, I guess. You've got to be careful when you're walking. Look, dogs are around here. Holes in the road. Got to have eyes everywhere. Keep them peeled. Who said that? Who's, who's phrase? There you go. There's a question where. Whose phrase was keep them peeled? How you doing, buddy? You okay? Now, keep them peeled. There you go. Top Bakery and Mini Mart. All right. Now, this little place here, I want to show just for the name. There you go. You two can come. And a nice little, lovely little uh, restaurant here. Do lots of Thai food and stuff. Honey house. Not sure about honey house, don't know what that's in. But I want to show you this place over here. Now look at this, it's called Pain. And uh, the lady who owns it is called Darlin. I am going to interview her very soon. But at the moment, she's struggling with staff at the moment. And uh, she said, although she would love to do this, right now it's not uh, the right time for her because she's busy and uh, she doesn't want to add to it. Do you want ice cream, ice cream, ice cream? All right, let's make a dash it. But look at this, right. The reason I'm going to interview her is there, look. Anti-aging foods. I kid you not, if she can make me look young and handsome again, well, I don't know about again, but if she can make me look, if she can make me look younger, I'm interested in anti-aging foods. And this is it here. So I want to uh, have a chat with her and find out what it's all about, how, how it's going to anti-age me. But here you go, look. Here's their uh, outside menu. Salmon breakfast, muesli with egg, pork chop with Dijon herb butter. What's making me angry? But that to me is like normal food. But anyway, I'm sure it isn't. Must be the ingredient. But there it is there. And uh, open every day, uh, nine o'clock until seven. Nine till seven. So if you want to do a bit of anti-aging, Get yourself down here, come check it out. But as I say, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna get her on the, on the channel. Well, yeah, I love fresh bread. Oh, I, love, I, love, I love a fresh bread. Trouble is, I don't know what uh, the guys that are out here find, but I don't like the butter. The butter out here always tends to be rank. I really, really don't like it. So of course you get a lovely bit of uh, bread. And then when you go like 7-Eleven and that, the butter's just bleh. Awful. All right, let's cross over. A little bit of uh, zigzagging today. I better not get run over. All right, here we go. Cool. So yeah, fresh bread. But I don't like the Thai butter. 
Oh, just awful, awful. Okay, now the end of this road, when we get to the end, that's where I want to show you. That is uh, the Gentleman's Club. And uh, I'll, you see, when I look at things like this, I think to myself, this was once someone's dream. You know, they've set this up, great ideas, great ambition, and sadly, very sadly, and may, maybe through no fault of their own, or maybe because of the last two years we've been through, that unfortunately, like so many others, they've not made it and uh, have had to close the doors. But I don't want this to be a doom and gloom. We need to uh, up the uh, ante now. Otherwise, I'll be depressing you as well as myself. <laughs> right, the travel in. There you go. Here's the travel in. Bed and breakfast. Uh, let's have a look what's on their menu. Oh, there you go. Leo and Chang beer, 50 baht. Singer. How much is Singer? Uh, 60 baht. There you go. Semigo, 70. And nice little. Hello, hello. There you go. What a nice little place. You can even get a taxi if you want. And uh, the rooms here. How much is a room for one night, please? The room is how much for one night? Uh, yeah. Hong Nung Wen Tao Lai Hap. Song Roy. No, no, no. Uh, seven. Jeb Roy. Seven. Seven, Jeb Roy Bajo, mate. Yeah, 700. Okay, so the room here is 700 baht and uh, for one night, which ain't bad. Oh, I tell you what, even though it's looked like it's going to pour with rain, I'm sweating me nuts off at the moment. It's really hot. People ask me as well, I say, Trevor, is it worth coming out right now in terms of the weather? Because obviously we are going through the rainy season. In some ways, I think it adds to the fun in, in many ways. It's nice to be uh, legitimately stuck in a bar knowing that you can't come out because it's just flooded. Um, but yeah, I mean, unless you're obviously into your beach and all that sun tanning rubbish, if that's your thing, then uh, obviously now is not a good time. But if you're just coming out here for chilling out, relaxation, the evening entertainment, all that kind of stuff, then uh, yeah, perfectly fine. Not a problem at all. There you go, look, beach on sand and rent. Cetus Beachfront, Reflection Areas, the Riviera, Luxury House, and other luxury property. I've read all that actually, and I think they're shut. <laughs> oh well, <laughs> sorry. Okay, so. Uh, where are we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to do some building work. Yeah, I wonder what they're making. Is this a new bar, perhaps, maybe? It's got to be a hair salon, isn't it? All those water pipes, got to be a hair salon. That's my game. Sorry, Gab. That's my, that's my game. It's for hair? For hair? No? Oh, okay. Okay. Nope, it's not a hair salon. And uh, if you are staying here for a long term, don't be frightened to use these kind of places. You're allowed to go in there. You can buy your beers wholesale, put them in your fridge, in your room or wherever. And uh, they are considerably, considerably a lot cheaper than uh, if you go to like 7-Elevens and places like that. Even the supermarkets, they're considerably cheaper. So if you're on a long stay and uh, you've got access to some of these places, there's quite a lot in the city centre. But uh, yeah, pop in, grab yourself a few cases. And then if it does rain, well, it's feet up on the balcony, open up a few cans and just chill out. So we're right at the very end now. And uh, what I'll do is, I want to show you inside this place. This used to be called the Apple Bar. And uh, it's now called Pussy Galore. And it's one of the places on our bar crawls. Fantastic, as you're going to see in a minute. All right, so let's go take a look. As I say, I've uh, spent a lot of money on the place, done a refit, looks really nice. Uh, in fairness now, I'm early. Uh, normally the girls start here at three o'clock, uh, but I can't make three o'clock, so uh, it's actually an, an hour before, so it's saying to us, there's only a few of the girls. But you can see in here, it's a really nice, spacious club. You can come in here, enjoy a few beers. Uh, in normal time, once you get past three o'clock, there's between 15 to 20 girls uh, that'll come here and sip you and have a drink with you. And we've got a few of the girls that live here sharpening up their pool skills. So uh, let's see how they're getting on. Hello. Hello. Hello, sweetheart. What's your name, darling? What's your name, Chirai? Hi. Boy. Poi, oh Poi, nice to meet you Poi. Nice to meet you. Hello sweetheart, what's your name? My name's Sunny. Sunny, wow, Sunny with a sunny smile. There you go, are you winning? Who's winning? 
Hang on, let's see, if, let's see how good you are, Sonny. Can Sonny pop your Oh my good lord, how'd you miss that, Sonny? Name? Oh! <laughs> oh, well, there you go. She's going, and your name, sweetheart? Lynn, nice to meet you, Lynn, nice to meet you. And we've got another lady over here. Oh, I'll let Sonny play a shot. Go on, Sonny, you play your shot. Here we go, sorry. So we've got Bloy, Lynn, Sonny. Pardon, say again, darling. Right, and hello, sweetheart, what's your name? Pam. Bam, bam, nice to meet you. Uh, and as you can see over there, guys, look, there's more tables, more chairs. Uh, so there's a lot going on here. There's a pole and uh, I don't know, quite uh, leave you to use your imagination on that one. And uh, the boss lady's down there. Hello, sweetheart, how are you? You okay? Yes, I'm okay. What's your name, sweetheart? Goy. Goy, nice to meet you, Goy. Nice. So like, like I said, guys, there's normally 15, 20 girls here. Let me just spin around, there we go. Yeah, there's normally 15 to 20 girls. They come here about three o'clock in the afternoon. So get down. Um, boy, what time do you close? Midnight. Midnight, so you can come down there till midnight. As I say, it's a really nice, spacious, big air-conditioned bar. And uh, the girls are great fun. They'll play pool with you. And uh, yeah, definitely want to stick on your radar. Right, thank you very much. Thank you, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Right, we're gonna head outside now. Oh, I'll tell you what, it's nice going from Hot to aircon, but it's not so nice going aircon to hot again. But it is, it, and you can also sit outside here. Look, let me just show you around here. So if you do want to sit outside, there you go. They got uh, an area here that you can sit down. And that's where we are. Right, spin that camera back. All right, guys, so hopefully you've enjoyed that. Something a little bit different. Um, I will try and cover off quite a lot of the gentlemen's clubs now, uh, now that things are starting to resume back to normal. I did this years ago. Years ago I did uh, videos inside the gents clubs and stuff, uh, but obviously the last two years pretty pointless to be honest with you, not a lot's been going on as you can imagine. But we are in a recovery guys, things are getting better, things are looking up, there's more and more girls coming back to work now, more and more places are open, and uh, I've been told, I don't know how true it is, but quite a few people have been telling me that the flight prices now are considerably less uh, than what they used to be. Uh, so hopefully, fingers crossed, that's going in the right direction, so that will encourage more of you guys to come over, you know, which in fairness, we desperately need. All right, well, that's it for me today. Uh, if there is any places you'd like me to review, uh, please don't comment here. Would you be kind enough to drop me an email, 247 at gmail.com, uh, and what I'll do is I will read through the emails and we'll try and figure out maybe... I did one years ago where I did like five in a, in a day and I went around all five. Um, but you know, I'm, I'm quite lucky, I'm a photographer here, so I get, I get access to the girls and stuff like that, so it's quite easy for me to sort these out. Uh, so yeah, if there is anywhere, please let me know, guys, and I will do my best. All right, that's it for me, guys. Thank you very much. As always, please remember to hit the subscribe button and also the bell icon if you'd like to be notified when I bring out a new video. Uh, check out Discord. Uh, the girls are here on Discord. Uh, they're in the, they've got their own room there, so you can get on there, have a look. Uh, daily photos, as I say, there are 15 to 20 girls working here and uh, you know it's definitely worth coming back to so have a look on discord and it's not just here there's all sorts of uh, information on there there's there's loads and loads of stuff over 18,000 members now which is fantastic so have a look on discord and if you would like to uh, support the channel and the work that i do and the videos i make there is a link to the members area down below membership starts with as little as 89 pence a month all right that's it for me guys thank you very much for watching and please as always wherever you are in the world stay safe mm -hmm.